God says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you and expect it. That's the master's plan. That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the master's plan. Even the context of plan, brothers and sisters, immediately brings about organization, instructions, outlines, guidelines. If you're going to have a plan, if you're going to have a plan, then you ought to follow that plan. What good is it to have a plan and not adhere to the tenets of the plan? That makes no sense. Why have a blueprint if you're not going to read it? Why go through the cumbersome acts of trying to discover exactly where you need to go and yet you won't follow? God, brothers and sisters, Yes. Has given us a plan. Yes, yes, he has. And it's not uh, some <coughs> mediocre plan. Mm -hmm. but no. God has given us Lord. master's yeah. plan. Yeah. 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 In other words, there is no plan to supersede his plan. Yeah. Right. 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 Regardless of how we want to circumvent his plan. How we want to uh, go uh, on our own and do our own thing. We, we end up missing out on the benefit that the Lord had for us following his plan. And following his plan like he has outlined it. Don't deviate. Take your time and consider the very tenets of what he has to offer. Yeah. Right. Right. I discovered this, brothers and sisters, when the way God does it, he, he does it comprehensively. Mm -hmm. oh, this Bible we have is a comprehensive book. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a book, but then it's really not a book. It's 66 books in one book. Yeah. Yes, well, comprehensive. It, it, in other words, it covers everything. Directly or indirectly. Yes, yeah, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to meet you and I right where we are. Listen, in every season of life. It's the master's plan. I like that because I don't have to come up with my own plan. When I, when I get serious about walking with the Lord, all I have to do is consider what he has already outlined for me. And if I want to get the expected end, I need to follow his plan. That's the plan. Yeah. Supersedes every other plan. It, 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 it miniaturizes every other plan that try to come alongside his plan because his plan is the master plan. Yeah, yeah. There's no prototype or beyond or before his. His is it. 
Now I'm looking at some of you this morning. You need to recognize you. Sometimes we're waiting on God to bring somebody else in. Well, Amen. On the plan that he has provided for you. But you need to understand you are it. You see, you're looking for plan B. But God has already said, I'm giving you plan A. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with plan A. Yeah. You just got to, amen, adhere to his tenets. Yeah. And you will receive just what the law has in store for you. I said the plan is comprehensive. Not only is it comprehensive, it's compassionate. That's good news. God has a comprehensive and a compassionate plan. In other words, he won't leave us out. In other words, he won't put a yoke on us that we can't handle. No, no, he won't, he won't, he won't burden us. He won't have us going through the motions of uh, minimizing his plan. No, no. His plan is a master plan and it's always been the master plan. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we just haven't taken it serious, but it's always been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you take his master plan serious, listen, every aspect of your life and my life takes on a whole different tone and tone. Are y'all with me? In other words, I'm saying, listen, you need not worry about how the, it's going to come out uh, in the end. You just need to make sure you're walking in his plan. He covers everything, the micro and the macro. He covers everything, the temporal and the time. Yeah, he takes care of everything, the beginning and the end. Yeah. He takes care of the Alpha and the Omega of our lives. And then regardless of how we feel about it, it's still his plan. Preach Pastor. Yeah, I love that. I love that because regardless of uh, how I view it right now, I, I already know, I'm all, I already have assurance on my heart that he has already promised me that he's going to be with me from the very beginning to the very end. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. I'm from vanishing point to vanishing point. Yeah, don't get it twisted this morning. If you're looking to circumvent, if you're looking to get around, if you're looking to try to, amen, ease yourself away from his plan, you're headed for destruction. Are y'all with me? You don't believe me. Well, I, let me just give you, if you don't believe me, maybe you believe Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah <laughs> outlines, he, he's that weeping, that weeping prophet. Yeah. 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 He's the prophet that cried out to God's people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. To, it got so hard for him, he wanted to sit down on God's place. Yeah. Sit down on a dope post. Yeah. <laughs> With a glass of lukewarm lemonade in his hand. All right. And said, God, I'm through with it. In fact, I ain't saying nothing else to him. Yeah. I've been crying out to him for 50 plus years. Yeah. I ain't seen no fruit yet. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing else. Yeah. I'm going to let you talk to him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He made the mistake and sat down on them words. And when he sat down, I sat down with him. Listen, I learned this. You can't hold fire that day. Fire gonna move you. Oh, y'all don't hear me anymore. That's what I say about the church. When fire's in there, movement gonna take place. Amen. Oh, yeah. It's not necessarily, amen. Uh, activity or action that is abated in the sanctuary but there's movement in your life and walk with the Lord. Yes. Amen. That's going to bring about more spiritual maturation. Yes. So I 
come to share with you just briefly this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, there's no plan that surpasses God's master plan. Yeah. Israel had a problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they didn't understand why they had this issue. Yeah. When the, the Lord had placed Jeremiah in place and in a strategic place mm -hmm. to speak directly to the exile. Right. <laughs> Those that had abandoned God's plan. They, they, them exiles, they were the ones who were in turmoil and in entanglement because they didn't want to follow God's plan. Jeremiah told them, now listen here, y'all need to settle down. <laughs> Jeremiah said, I need you to breathe in right, and take a little breath if you will. Why? Because y'all need to understand that where y'all are, y'all going to be there for 70 years. Don't huh. no worry about it. Sell down, Israel. I got something to show you. For 70 years, you're going to be in exile. And I don't care how much you wiggle, how much you scratch, yeah, how much you cuss, you're going to be right where I want you. Because it's still my place. I found out a long time ago, Chip. You can bust and play it all you want. But sooner or later, you're going to have to make a U-turn and come back and deal with God's master plan. I wish I had a plan. He said, don't worry about it. Sell yourself. Quiet your lips. Because you're going to be here a minute. For 70 years, I'm going to have you right where I want you. I'm a God of witnesses. And he said that that's the reason, one of the reasons is that you are prone to listen to lying prophets. Read right. on up in there. He told them, listen, I have I have placed some prophets before you. <laughs> but and you took what they were saying. They told you that you were going to ease your way out of it. Amen. They were proper lying to you. <laughs> Yeah, and you believe what they say. Hook, <laughs> line, and sin. That amazes me about folk in the church. They believe anything. <laughs> Any new pie piper come along. Anybody that tie a rag around their head in a long dress. Yeah, and thinking they got a word from the Lord. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you just got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Yeah, right yeah, I want you to know this morning that if you if you've been born again, yeah. amen, yeah. you already have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And more than that, the Holy Ghost got you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. I never say I have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Say the Holy Ghost got me. Because yeah. the Holy Ghost is too big for me yeah. to contain yeah. in my little sphere of influence. That's what he said, y'all. Y'all listening to the wrong prophets yeah. just because it sound good, yeah. but it's not really sound. Yeah. That, that's what he, he reminded them. Listen, you you're here, and I need to send you a letter to let you know that these prophets that you have been listening to uh -huh. have thoroughly contaminated, <laughs> Amen, your ear gate yeah. and your heart gate, yeah. yeah. And your mind gate, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're too gullible now. 